It could be one of the darkest and most sinister secrets in the entire field of UFO investigation. There was an underground base here in the Mesa. Human and alien genetic experimentation. Boom submerged in sort of yellow liquid. These experiments are reportedly going on in Dulce, New Mexico, deep below the desert brush in a secret underground base. Even reports of some kind of underground battle. 62 to 72 bodies were pulled out of there. Are aliens being housed at an underground complex? They call Level 6 Nightmare Hall. Or is this just a cover for a top secret military operation? And if so, why? They left the fetus inside the animal. My God. This is case number 66105. Underground Aces. There is a whole theory about secret underground bases, especially the big base in Dulce, New Mexico. Allegedly, there is a vent coming out of a hill. Why would a vent be coming out of the hill? The only explanation would be some sort of facility in the mountains. If there is a base here, there's going to be a massive infrastructure. There's going to be a ventilation system, a water management system, a power system. If this is a government facility, I'm sure they can hide a lot of it, but some of it's going to be apparent. Kevin's right. I mean, uh, an underground base would need power. Uh, there would probably be uh, vents uh, on the surface, but uh, maybe not. If they designed something ultra top secret, most of the base would be underground. I know for a fact that we have underground military bases that were built to protect and house the government and military in the event of a nuclear attack. But whether or not aliens are involved in, in Dulce, that uh, remains to be seen. We don't even know that there's actually a base here. That's as simple as it gets, and that's where, personally, I want to start. Okay. If I see something that leads me to believe that there is a base there, then I'll think about what's going on in the base and who's running it. When you hear the stories, when you're on the Indian reservation and see what there is to see, when you do that, I think your minds will be open to the possibility that something incredible and possibly very sinister is going on there. We're in Dulce, New Mexico, about 200 miles away from Albuquerque. Our goal is to locate a secret underground base where the government reportedly has been uh, housing aliens and carrying out strange experiments. My name's Ken Storch, and there's definitely something strange going on in Dulce, New Mexico. My name is Bob. I'm an undercover operative, and Dulce is the ultimate undercover operation. We're here in Dulce meeting with Bob and Ken, investigators that have been looking into this area for over 10 years now. And these guys have made Dulce the central focus of their investigations because they believe something really strange is going on here. What got you into the Dulcie business? When we first learned about the Dulcie papers from this retired Air Force colonel, uh, we were told that there was an underground base here in the Mesa. The Dulcie papers surfaced in the 1980s, and they documented the levels of experimentation going on at that secret base. They also talked about a fight. In 79, the Greys took over our scientists, Delta, FBI, CIA, the security force that's in the mountain itself. They went down to get the scientists and a firefight occurred from 62 to 72. Bodies were pulled out of there. Our very first trip down here, we were contacted by a Hickoria police officer. We went onto the reservation. Out of my peripheral vision, I see the squad car pull up. He said to me, uh, what are you looking at? I said the Archerland, and I, I just bluntly looked at him and said, were you here in 79 when they dragged the bodies out of the Archerland? He looks me dead in the face and says, yes, but we're not allowed to talk about it. Whoa. This is bizarre. We have an officer admitting to seeing bodies removed from this supposed firefight, but he's forbidden to talk about it. So there might be something to this, but still, it's secondhand, and it's just a story. 
What role does Archuleta Mesa play in all this? The only thing that we can think of is that it's in a remote area and it's only accessible from certain points. There's a section up there, 30 yards wide, two or 300 yards long, where the tops of the trees are clipped off. They're all laying in one direction. The first story that we got was that it was a flying saucer from Area 51 that was back engineered. They were flying it and they got into trouble and tried to do an emergency landing on the Mesa and crashed, and that's what started the fire. Second version was that it was an F-16 that crashed, and that came from an Air Force major. But I can't find anything about the crash, what caused the crash, who the pilot was, what happened to the pilot, or anything. All of a sudden, you get steered in this direction, you get an answer, question answered, and then all of a sudden, it steers you in another direction, you hit a brick wall. The worst thing that a, a detective or an investigator can do is take the evidence and lead it. What you have to do is you have to follow the trail and you have to keep an open mind, and you have to be objective when you go down that path. Ken and Bob are giving me some, some clues that point that something is going on, but there's nothing definitive yet that tells me that there really is an underground base here. I want to get closer to Archuleta Mesa, get a closer look, and maybe I'll be able to make a little more sense about what's happening in Dulce. My name is Troy Vicente, and I honestly believe that there is a UFO base within Archuleta Mesa. Kevin and I have come to the base of Archuleta Mesa to, to see if there's anything going on here. We're meeting with a local, Troy Vicente, to see if he knows anything about this place and has experienced any UFO sightings for himself. From the front gate, as you're coming in, my wife saw this big old flying craft that was hovering, and it's a very big craft, probably about three, four football length wide. Was it, was it round? Yes, round. As we stood there, all I could see was the disc. The bottom of the disc, because of the flash of the dosy lights shining against it. There is a reflection from the lights in yes, town sir. on the bottom of this craft. Yes, I thought it was gonna hit that. Mesa, but it just seemed like it just barely grazed that mesa there. Craft flew into the mesa or no, over the mesa? Above, on top of it. Do you think it's that it's possible that maybe this UFO that you saw, maybe it originated from Archuleta Mesa? We already know that there's a UFO base here. It's common knowledge that there's a UFO base here in Dulce? Yes. It's amazing that they just accept a UFO base being here. Now, this is a good sign for starting off our investigation. I'm off to Las Vegas to talk to John Lear about the mysteries of the Dulce Papers and their ultimate origin. Can you just start us off and tell us how this whole story began? I met Ann West. She told me that she knew a security officer there. His name was Thomas Costello. Supposedly, he escaped with seven minutes of videotape, 25 black and white photos, and about 100 pages of information on what was going on there. He contacted Ann, who was a longtime friend of his, and said, what I want you to do is bury this information. Uh, I'll contact you every four months. If I miss two meetings in a row, then I want you to take that information and expose what's going on there. 